What's up to my at home folks? This is Tuesday's workout. So a reminder that the warm up is posted in a separate link at the top of today's program. Let's dive into your strength. So very similar to yesterday, we're gonna be doing every four minutes for three rounds. And we have two movements that are done back to back without rest. And then the remainder of that four minutes is your rest period. So we're gonna go 10 to 15 of the rear foot elevated split squats. Uh, those are gonna be done at a particular tempo. I'll show you those in a second. Um, you're gonna be then going into a 30 second wide sumo style squat hold. Uh, I'll show you that as well. So those uh, combination of the split squat right, split squat left, and the sumo squat hold will make up your work interval, and the remainder of that time will be your rest. All right. So let's take a look at the split squat. We've got rear foot elevated, three seconds down, three seconds back up. So I'm lowering slowly, shoelaces down, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you're loading this, you have this weight directly underneath the chin, right? You can end the scale by removing that rear foot elevation and just going one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Then we have the sumo squat hold. So I'm establishing a wide stance, toes turned out slightly, getting myself to parallel, strong upright torso, shoulders down and back, and holding steady there for that 30 second time frame. All right, really emphasize the tempo on that first portion and get as deep as you can with great posture on the sumo squat hold. All right, let's take a look at your workout. So we have two separate six minute ladders. They are exactly the same. They're gonna be separated by exactly six minutes of rest. So you'll go six minute ladder, six minute break, six minute ladder. So this ladder consists of you going a set of lateral burpees and then a set of kettlebell swings. They will both go up in repetition the entire time. So you'll go one lateral burpee, two swings, then two lateral burpees, four swings, then three, six, four, eight, five, ten and so on, all the way uh, until the six minutes is up. You'll take your six minute break, you'll start back at the bottom of the ladder again, and you'll go six minutes again, all right? So let's take a look at our movements. We have the lateral burpee. So I'm gonna have my PVC or whatever I'm using. This could be just a line on the floor. My goal is to do a burpee on one side, and then I'm gonna take a step or an easy hop over, I'm gonna continuously move in that fashion. Kettlebell swings, um, tight tuck, fast hips. Uh, you guys know the deal. We've been swinging this kettlebell, right? Like crazy. Make sure that you're staying relaxed in your upper body, that you're not leaning back at the top of that swing. Abs down and tight, butt squeeze, right? Let your hips do the work. Arms are simply guiding that kettlebell to its end position, all right? Keep in mind that you have to do two of these ladders, get after it, but leave enough in the tank so you can be consistent on both workouts. Hope you guys have a great day. See ya.